How did Snoop with a minute of medicine for your mind? You know Moses, the story of Moses when God told him to tell Pharaoh let my people go. Well, he said, listen, God, I stutter. I can't go. God said, listen, I ain't worried about you stuttering. I already took care of that. But what do you have to work with? What's in your hand? He said, I got a staff. God took her from there. Then you got the lady who, who the prophet went to and said, listen, make me a cake. God told me to tell you to make me a cake. She said, I got just enough oil and meal to make one cake. I was going to make it for me and my son. We were going to lay down and die. He said, well, you got, you got some oil? Pour it in every empty vessel you have. So as long as she poured oil in every empty vessel that she had, that filled that vessel filled up and she was able to sell that oil. So she, he didn't focus on what she didn't have. What she didn't have, she focused on what she had empty vessels that could be filled up with something precious. Then there's my man David, went up against Goliath. He was outgunned, outmanned, but he focused on what he did have, a slingshot and a rock, took the giant out. Then there's my favorite, the, the parable of the talents. You know, the one guy who had one, the other one had two, the other one had five talents. When the master came back, said, what you do with my talents, where they at? The one that had five made five more, he made 10. The one that had two, turned it into five. The one that had one, buried it, he got mad. And the, 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 the master got mad him because he said, listen, you focused on because you only had a little what you couldn't do. You're supposed to focus on making something out of that little so you can make more for yourself. What am I trying to say to you? It's real simple. See, God never focuses on what we don't have. He focuses on what we do have. He's made us. He knows our limitations. He wants us to focus on what he's given us to work with because that's all we need, nothing less or nothing more to accomplish the purpose he set before us and to walk into the great destiny that he already has for us. So stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on what you do have. You know what? Ask yourself, what am I working with? Once you know that, that's where you start. This is new with a minute of medicine for your mind.